Hi guys! So, um, I promised someone a video tutorial for how I do my edits. So, I thought I would finally deliver. I finally figured out a way. I think this time, I mean, I've tried multiple times. I think I finally figured out a way to make it work. So, we're going to go into Art, which is what we're working with. What I mostly use to edit. Although, lately, I have gotten into Adobe Photoshop. But, um, this is the most cheap, probably, method that you can use because you can actually get a free version. There is premium on this, but um, I prefer to use the free version because you basically get the same stuff. There's better options on premium, but it's just a lot easier to work with the free version. All right, so um, for this time, we're going to um, we're going to recreate this edit. All right, so I'm going to just like copy and paste pictures, and um, now there we go. It's advertising. It's premium now. Let's see. So I'm going to copy and paste pictures and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to erase and how to make them look good. All right. So let's take this uh, middle Evie and you're going to copy it. Today I'm working with my finger instead of my pencil because my pencil is, my pencil's battery is dead. Sorry. Right, so, um, sorry, I moved a little bit ahead of myself. You're going to click the plus button down here at the bottom and, um, you're going to click start from scratch. You can go with whatever shape you want. Um, landscape would be best, probably. At least that's what I work with a lot of times. Now you're going to um, tap and kind of hold down, and it's going to have a paste button. And you're going to paste that Eevee on there, or whatever you have. All right, so you see her? Going to get her lined up in the middle. See, and there's a line that automatically pops up to show you where the middle is. Now maybe slide her down just a little. We'll figure out the exact placement later. Now, let me show you guys how to erase. So we're going to click her again, and I'm going to bring back what was behind her. So that way I can, like, show you how to get these clean lines. So you see, I'm going to bring back a little bit of what's back here. So the thing is, we're dealing with a really simple form here with Evie. And um, it's not going to be quite as um, difficult to erase around her because she's she's kind of an easy shape to get around. Now, there's other pictures that you're I'm sure you're going to experiment with that are going to be pretty hard to erase around. All right, so I've added a little bit of added around it, so that way I can show you how to erase. So you're going to zoom in, and you're going to go very, very carefully and be very, very mindful of her form. See, so you go real, real gently through there. You can actually adjust the size of your brush by clicking the erase button again, and uh, you can pull up the size that you want. So like, see, and it gets much bigger and a lot faster. The only problem with that is, is that you don't get as precise of a line. So that's why you might want to like switch between um, sizes of the uh, erasing brush. So, so you kind of go around through here real carefully. Real nice and carefully. So always be very, very mindful where her form starts and ends and stuff. So that way it doesn't, you know, you, you get something that looks like Evie, the shape of Evie or the shape of whatever person you're working with or character or animal. So take that really carefully through there. And you also notice that when it gets really, really big, it doesn't want to get down here in these little crevices like it should. So we're going to minimize it again and take it real carefully through there. See? There you go. Just like that. Now... After you get all this erased, which I have a big place up here at the top, needs to be taken care of. But, um, all right, so you see that now. So you see basically how to erase. Now, so you line her up, and now we're going to copy and paste our other ones. So theoretically, if you were searching up uh, images on the web, you're going to uh, take and do the exact same thing. You're just going to copy and paste from... Um, well done. There we go. You're going to copy and paste from the internet. Like, save it on your iPad. Or you could just copy and paste images. I use Google for that. Although I don't like Google, usually. So, uh, But it's great for image. For, for getting images that you need. Alright, so you had this pick of the Now let's go get the other ones. It, um... Now. This thing's having a hard time. It's moving awfully slowly today. And I'm not exactly sure what its problem is. Oh, come on. There we go. See, so you're going to copy that. And paste again. She's being real slow today, but I'm thinking it might be because the storage is getting filled up. There we go. 
So you kind of put that in there. Now, um, in a minute, I'm going to show you something kind of cool that you can do to make one picture stand out above the rest. Now, let me give it a sec. It's taking its own sweet time. Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. Now, copy it. And click back over here again. Just going to keep pasting these pictures until we're ready. All right. Let's see. We got one more pick to get. Come on, Evie. Be my friend. Come on, baby. All right, now. Copy that and about to paste it. All right, we got all our Evie pictures now. So you see how she's blocking up this other Evie's face really badly. So we're going to take it and we're going to click that Evie that we want to jump up in front of her. We're going to click on these options down here at the bottom. We're going to click front. So see, it moves her up to the front so that way you can see her over. It's almost like she's a sticker over this other one. So you can minimize and maximize these, these uh, people that you've worked with and you can click front on this one so that the face is um, the ultimate focal point of the artwork or the edit. All right, now, so you're gonna take and zoom in a little bit if you want. I mean, it's whatever size you want. But this is just what I think might look good. See, now, before these pictures were totally off in terms of skin tone and color, and you notice this one right here has not, I can't totally get it to look right. But that's just one of the, the um, that's just the nature of this beast. So you're gonna, if, if you want to change how it looks, like as in the, the uh, different qualities of it, you can go over here to the um, adjust on that bottom bar after you click the picture. And you can adjust the exposure. So see, I basically try to get it where it's around the same exposure as these other ones. Which is right about there, maybe. So... And maybe scroll over here to highlights. I got it pulled to the back, to the max. Uh, so it kind of has that, um, like the light shining on her, just like it does with the rest of the pictures. So I tried to line it up and get it just right. There's a lot of fun things you can play with. Just try to play with it. Maybe make it look like uh, they all came from the same scene. Now, now we get to worry about our background. And our background, just for uh, simplicity's sake and for the shortness of this video, we're going to just look at plain colored backgrounds. And that would be, um, you just kind of, you don't have any picture selected now, and you just scroll through this, and you see the background. Now, I'm going to roll over here, and you can go basic like, uh, that's a little too bright for me, so I would try to find something that kind of matched her tone in this. That, uh, that right there looks uh, kind of nice, I think, as far as, like, it just kind of works with her colors. All right, now, so, um, now you can go into stickers. And stickers is something that I are something that I um, like a lot. It's a tab that's really really fun because you can find all sorts of things to add in, like um, this gold stuff. That's one of my most favorites. You roll over here and you can find crystal dust. Crystal dust is um, really good too because Evie's all about glitter. A lot of characters uh, are work really well with glitter. So you see, you wait for it to clear up like it just did, and put it behind click the back button. I'll oh, just like you did front, you go you do back this time. Basically, you just keep fiddling with that button until it um until you have the option for back. All right. So we're going to click off that and click our stickers again. Now, this blue glitter will work very nicely for what we're doing. Just wait for it to clear up. There we go, just like it just did. Now, you can put that in the back. See? And you notice right and here, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's between these two pictures, right in here in this weird little area. There's, um, you can see where it's overlapping, which is kind of neat because it makes an interesting effect. Now, I'm going to click stickers again. Uh, maybe some gold because gold looks good with EB2 because you notice the gold in her outfit on these pictures. Now, we're going to kind of zoom that one in really, really big and put it in the back. You can't hardly see it, but there's a few little accents of where it is. Now, however, if you want the gold to show more, you can use your, um, you can click one of these other stickers, and you can use your erase button. Now, it's really not going to show a whole lot here, so we, maybe we should click the other sticker and see how that would work. Now, 
take the eraser and you can zoom in down here. And let me make my eraser a little bigger. There we go, see, just like this. See, so that way the gold shows more than the blue does. Now let's see what it look, how it looks when we zoom back out. There we go, see the gold's showing more. All right, now you can add your text. So in this case, let's, let's do uh, Selena Gomez's song, Who Says? Because, well, I mean, hey, it fits Evie really well, right? All right, who says? All right, hang on a sec. Oh, it already remembered what I had to say. Okay. Who says? Now what we're going to do, maybe we should um, just put this in a single thing right here. Now let's see. We can edit our fonts because up there at the very, very top we have options. So we can go through the fonts of what you might like to use. A lot of pretty fonts to use. So there's that one. And this one. I'm going to go with the Natalie font. I don't know why, but it just looks good. So um, now we're gonna, we might want to put... Alright, so we're going to take... Sit it up here. Make sure it doesn't invade the face too much. So that way you can still get an idea of who's there. Of who you're um, putting in your edit. Not the draw option. Sorry. No. Alright, who says... Who says... You're... Not... We're gonna... Maybe we should um, divide this into a better... So the thing is, is that if you use... If you, if you use the text option in small little spurts, it'll look better in the end. Alright, so see? You kind of edit that. You can make it bigger and smaller. Let's see. Who says... Who says... And we're gonna put... You're not perfect. Let me see... You're not perfect. So you see, now you're going to play with your font again. You're going to roll down, find the Natalie font or whatever you're using. All right, who says you're not perfect? You might want to zoom that one in a little to make to bring it more attention to those words. And uh, you know, who says, who says you're not perfect? Who says you're... Here I am doing it again. Hang on a second. Who says, who says you're not perfect? Who says you're not worth it? Okay, so we're going to make that kind of small. I forgot to edit my font, so we're going to go back and do that. All you got to do is just click on it again after you've got it there. And it'll pull it back up. Alright, so who says, um, I'm going to do, um, you're not perfect. Who says you're not worth it? Alright. Or maybe we could skip ahead in the song and say, uh, who says you're not beautiful? Because that would might, you know, work. You can edit the songs how you need. You know, you can just kind of use whatever you need out of it. So, there we go. There we go. Now we're going to roll down to Natalie. And maybe make it kind of big like that up there. But make sure that your words aren't running off the edit space. Alright. Now overlay if you want I mean the thing is, is that with overlay you can do animated stuff like this glitter right here you can also adjust how strongly the glitter is how strongly uh, how prominent it is there you go see so it's just kind of like that I like that so I'm gonna stick with that there's a lot of options for overlay that you can play with so there's that and by the way make sure that you remember to watermark your pictures because there are lots of evil people who would take your pictures and claim them as your own. Uh, claim, claim them as their own. So, you can draw your um, your name on there, your username, or your actual name. I would recommend your username because, well, privacy. So, you know, for me, it'd be like, Rosie, sorry, I'm drawing with my finger and this is not looking good. I can write a lot better than this. Although I still look like a cave person when I write. All right, so basically you're going to do something a little bit stronger than that. Maybe like uh, something, a color that's a little bit better than white. Because white's not working well for this. Or you could actually um, use the text option and adjust the opacity. But here we are. I think we got a good edit. Good edit. So um, please um, comment and subscribe and like this video. And, you know, please let me know if you have any questions. I would be glad to answer any and all
um, because I love helping you guys. And um, have a wonderful day. And um, I reckon that's about it. Until the next tutorial.